There's an outstanding event in the PD area of Francis Marion University. We'll tell you all about it coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome back to Carolina People. This morning we're at Carolina's hospital system. We're in the city of Florence and we're focused on the PD area heart walk coming up on October 26th at 10 a.m. out at Francis Marion University. This morning we're visiting with the chairman from the 2000 walk, a man who was instrumental in bringing Darlington and Florence counties together to help kick off a, a new campaign of walks for the future. Frank Avent. Frank, thanks so much for being with us this Good morning. Good to see you, Greg. What had prompted your involvement with the Heart Association here in, in the PD? I know uh, you've been active in so many community events throughout the area as well as throughout the state. And to think about some of the uh, uh, groups you've supported locally, actively, to see now your association with the Heart Association this year uh, continuing to help promote it as much as possible. Obviously, you've had activities with the Boy Scouts. I've seen your name associated with that and other communities. But the Heart Association in particular, to take on the chairmanship responsibility in 2000, what prompted that? Uh, really, what prompted it is about six people came to see me one day, uh, sat down, and uh, Tom Hewitt being one that's right. the chair this year. Right and uh, kind of twisted my arm and, and uh, I finally agreed, agreed to, uh, to take it on. I think Tom said he had an obligation back then, two years ago, when he twisted your arm to be the chairman then. I think you said, uh, uh, Tom, I know you're going up as president of the Rotary or president of the Chamber of Commerce, so you can't do it next year, but the year after, I want you back doing exactly what you're asking me to do now. And obviously that year, having brought Florence and Darlington together to really drive the numbers up, I think you all raised north of $250,000. It was an incredible year. Well, I think a little north of 150 that first Oh, really? Year. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Well, that's good to know. I, I'd seen that 275000 was the goal this year, and I think last year Tom had mentioned that I, it was last year that 270000 had been raised. They didn't raise the goal up too much this year. Uh, some of the sponsors have come on. He was talking about uh, trying to ramp up some more sponsors here in the PD area and uh, surely just getting the walkers out there on October 26th. Is there anything that uh, Pepsi here, the bottling company here in Florence, is doing to, to, to do uh, wraparound support to get folks active? Well, we, we have some team leaders and we'll have some walkers out there and then uh, we've got three team leaders there okay. that uh, try to recruit walkers, but also uh, we do different events. We have fish fries at the plant and really? some bait sales and have boiled peanuts and all, oh, you yeah. know. So several of the employees are involved in, in trying to uh, do different things to raise money. Well, there is so much going on. Are any of those activities open to the public, like the fish fries? Are those all really... Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> not as such, but yeah, if someone, you know, we do have some time visitors by, and we say, come back in and have some, you know, have some fish. It's, it's $5, and it's going to American Heart going to the Heart Association, absolutely, into the Heart Walk. It's so great hearing all the talk about how the Heart Association doesn't get any funds from United Way, that they're not getting federal grants, and really that all these funds raised, they have to go out and get private donations in a sense like this, a heart walk or a heart ball, and so much of that money staying in the community. It's being reinvested back here through research and so much activity on a personal side. Oftentimes folks are affected by heart disease or strokes directly. They have a family member, I know my father suffered, a heart attack which prompted my uh, involvement with the Heart Association on a more intimate level and really wanted to get active and I, I know so many folks, have you had any personal involvement with uh, with heart disease or strokes, any family members or otherwise? Uh, yes, I had, my mother had a stroke and then had a brother that had heart problems. Is that right? Yeah, so, mm -hmm. but I mean, 
Uh, I don't know of a family or uh, hardly the particularly in the PD that hadn't been affected. Uh, you know, that's probably our number one enemy as far as is uh, is health wise mm -hmm. here in the PD. I think you're right. I think. Uh Mona Carter, the director of community relations here in the PD, had talked about a little more than 40% of folks in the area are affected by heart disease or stroke. If 40% if is not a big number, then you need to rethink your numbers because that is a number that affects everyone, virtually everyone. Can you tell me real quick about Pepsi-Cola here in, in Florence? How, how long has it been in existence or how long has the, uh, the entity that you've been involved with been around? Well, it's a family business. My dad and had two partners started in 1936, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, what well, they started in 36 now is, you know, the Florence Company and then Conway Company was split off with one of the partners, and Bennettsville was split for one of the other partners. So. Okay, so so there were your your dad and two partners, and one went down to Conway, took over that franchise and the other took over Bennettsville. Well, they started out with nine counties and they just ended up dividing it up that Not way at, at a certain point. And how long have you worked in the in the plant or in the operation? Well, I say all my life almost, but probably, you know, since uh, high school and whatnot, right. started off going out helping load trucks. And, That's and your that first thing. childhood job, I guess. Yes, it was. Well, often times folks say, what's your first childhood job and what's your first job as an, as an adult? But I guess for you, it's uh, uh, the childhood ran into adult because you've been active with the family business from the get-go. What are some of the benefits of, of local owner, owner and operation? If you're a, an owner in a community and have the opportunity to get out there, are there some real benefits there? Well, I, you know, I think so, and I think it's, it's you know, some benefits to the community because mm -hmm. because we live in a community and we know particularly here our business comes from the community uh, we try to take part in community things and, and be a part of the community no one knows their community better than folks living and working in the community and surely uh, to be able to, to own a business that goes back to 1936 a family business there to be able to reinvest in the community that's helped it grow uh, is surely a special thing. The Heart Association is a special vehicle to do that. Frank Avent, chairman of the Heart Walk 2000, and now uh, helping to raise the goals every year. Tom Ewart's taken over the event this year with a $275,000 goal. October 26th, 8.30 registration, 10 a.m. walk. Frank Avent, thanks so much for being uh, with us this morning. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Very definitely. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Carolina people. Good morning. Welcome back to Carolina people. This morning we're at Carolina's hospital system. We're in the city of Florence, and we're focused on the PD area heart walk coming up on October 26th out of Francis Marion University. This morning we're visiting with Eleanor Smith. Eleanor, thanks Hi. so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Are you a PD native, Eleanor? Yes, I am. Are you? And yes. you have been active with the Heart Association for years. Yes, sir, about 10 years. Is that right? That's correct. Can you tell me real quick, your, I, 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 I failed to mention that you're at McLeod uh, Health and Fitness. Can you tell me your position at McLeod? Actually, I'm a registered nurse um, in cardiac rehab. I've been a nurse uh, for about 22 years okay. and um, have always had cardiac experience, but have been cardiac rehab for about the last six years. You've got a particular interest in the Heart Association then. That's correct. Very definitely. And you said you've been in the PD your whole life? My entire life, yes. Okay, great. Have you had any personal, uh, has anyone in your family been affected by heart disease or stroke that really prompted your involvement prior to uh, actually becoming a nurse and, and uh, getting active in cardiac rehab? Um, I would not say back at my initial um, nursing experience that I had any cardiac involvement then in my personal life, but um, over the last six years, um, both my parents have been affected by heart disease. Um, 
both of them have had bypass surgery. My dad had his first heart attack when he was 49 um, several years ago, and then uh, about six years ago he had another heart attack. My mom has also had bypass surgery and has suffered from a stroke. Mm. Um, in mm. addition to that, we do have a um, very personal history on both sides of their, with their parents. So I've got a lot of personal involvement. Golly, Eleanor, very definitely. Is there uh, anything in particular when you're working with heart patients or cardiac rehabilitation? What goes on, let's say, in a, in a, in a day uh, there at the, the rehab center? Um, well, I work in our maintenance exercise program, and um, I work with another gentleman um, who's an exercise physiologist, and he and I supervise the exercise program. Maintenance exercise means that um, they are able to come in, and after they're trained on the equipment, they can work independently. Mm -hmm. um, but we're there pretty much for their medical supervision in the particular phase that I work in, um, a lot of social involvement, camaraderie, but also mm -hmm. for some um, psychological, emotional support and education. Mm -hmm. um, and as I said, they're pretty much trained to work independently. And in the phase that I work in, we have about 450 participants. 450? That's correct. Boy, I, would have, I wouldn't have thought that many folks, uh, uh, but so many folks, as we heard uh, earlier, I think Frank was just talking about so many folks here and in the area that are affected by heart disease or stroke. It's dramatic, the numbers uh, in the PD as well as the Strand, as well as all of uh, the Carolinas. That's the great. Yeah. That's right. How does your involvement with heart patients uh, turn into support for the Heart Association? Are there activities that uh, the patients are encouraged to, to get into, to get active, to help the Heart Association? Or? Well, um, I will have to say my first involvement came about 10 years ago um, when my mother actually got me started into the um, American Heart Association prior to my taking a position in cardiac rehab. Mm -hmm. So I've been involved for a number of years. And as far as the patients go, um, we have ways or incentives where they can um, earn special credits if they participate. Um, we don't have like an exercise um, session where they can, you know, earn extra points that way. But if they participate in the Heart Association um, by showing up the day of the event, mm -hmm. as well as financial support, we have incentives for them. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a drawing for a free month of rehab or um, some other type of raffle or something where they can win something and that mm -hmm. usually gets people going. Do you do you personally have a goal for this year's walk? Is there a, is there a, a both a, a goal of a persons that will actually hopefully be out walking as well as a financial goal? Um, actually, yes, we have set both. Um, it, traditionally, in the past, we have had um, about a hundred participants to actually come out the day of the walk from that represent cardiac rehab. Okay. Um, Last year, I think we had 125, so right. I'm going to shoot for 150 this year. Our goal has traditionally been about 2,000, and we typically go over that. So I'm kind of going to set it for 2,500 this year in hopes that we'll go over that as well. And this is just cardiac rehab? That's correct. McLeod itself has had, uh, had very large teams in the past. I think they, they raised around 16,000 last correct. year. That's correct. They sure did. Do you know if they have a similar goal throughout the throughout the hospital, throughout the medical center there? Well, actually, we unfortunately missed our goal last year, even though it was 16,000, but um, I think it's about 20,000 this year. Great. Um, so we'll be very pleased with that, and it seems like it's might work. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great. So do you, do you think the, uh, will the 150 or so potential walkers that you're hopeful to get out there, will that be wrapped into McLeod's numbers? Or? That's correct. Okay. They are. Do you We're have any idea what McLeod's McLeod. goal is of, of numbers that should be walking? I hate to put you on the spot on that. Well, I'm going to have to say I do not know. Okay, However, yeah. um, I believe our team captain's going to be here yes, later. Can later do this week. Yes. Very definitely. Excuse can me. Can yeah, give me that information. There's so many, uh, so many folks that are active with the Heart Association and the Heart Walk, the PD area Heart Walk expand such a large area and the numbers of persons that will be out there walking. Do you have any, I guess last year was in the thousands of folks That's that tuned out, came out to Francis Marion last year and I think previously, maybe you mentioned to me that have been held at Florence Darlington Tech when uh, when Frank Avent chaired it and, and now it's, it's in its second year out of Francis Marion. That's correct. Should be very successful. When, when folks are out walking, is there medical staff available or folks, uh, if anyone was to, I mean, obviously there are a lot of cardiac rehab folks out, uh, pay, former patients or even existing patients, folks who want to come out to really get out and cheer on the Heart Association. Are there, I guess there are always folks around to give advice, to give medical uh, um to do a, a fitness festival of a sort, mm -hmm. to talk about some of the activities that people can do to, um, to stave off any problems with heart 
heart disease or strokes. Is there is there advice that's provided the day of the event as well as year-round outside of what you do? Yes, there actually is. Um, there's actually support from both hospitals out there, from Carolina's Hospital as well as McLeod. Um, PD Cardiology Associates um, right. has good representation out there, and there's usually sports medicine. Um, Dr. Go Joe Garcia is usually out there um, as well. And um, certainly if anything should occur to one of the participants who are actually out there participating in the walk that day, there are personnel there to aid in their, mm -hmm. their, um, in their need. Right. So um, they do blood pressure screenings, provide lots of information, um, handouts and that sort of thing for pay people to take home. Right. We've got less than a minute, Eleanor, but I was thinking real quick, uh, McLeod's so active with not only the heart walk, but also the, the heart ball and other galas in the area. What do you, why do you think that it's so important that McLeod and other institutions get active with the Heart Association? Well, I think the biggest thing is it shows their support for the effort, and um, it certainly provides good exposure for the institution, but um, more importantly, I think it um, shows that we're actually supporting a big community effort and something that's very pertinent to our area. And um, in this area in particular, we do have a lot of um, heart attack and stroke, and McLeod is a big supporter of um, uh, those efforts. And um, so I think that kind of exposure is very important. Very definitely. Eleanor Smith, a PDRA native, um, registered nurse in cardiac rehab, is committed to hopefully get as many as 150 and even more walkers out the day of the walk, October 26th. Keep the date in mind. Eleanor, thanks so much for being with Thank us this you. morning. Appreciate it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at Carolina's hospital system here in the city of Florence. We're focused on the PD area heart walk coming up on October 26th at Francis Marion University. We're visiting with Tanya Hahn this morning, who's the president and CEO of the Flor Florence Educators Federal Credit Union. Tanya, thanks so much for being with us Thank this morning. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate y'all enjoying including me in this event. Very definitely. The Heart Association is such an active group and so many activities going on, not only the, the Heart Walk, right. but also the Heart Ball, which will be coming up later. Can you tell me real quick about your involvement with the Heart Association? What prompted you to get active with the Heart Association? Well, I've been a volunteer for many years, um, and what prompted me to actually get involved in the beginning was just to educate myself and my family on the uh, on heart disease and stroke. Um, I've been very fortunate in my own family that we haven't had a lot of prevalence of heart disease and stroke related illnesses in my family. Mm -hmm. However, my husband does. Mm -hmm. And um, so that we can continue to have a long life together, I wanted to learn more and to get educated and also do my part to help in the community because my husband lost his parents both his parents at a very young age of heart disease. Okay. Uh, massive heart attacks. They didn't get a second chance. Mm. And his brother, his older brother's already had a heart attack. Mm. So, you know, he has a very poor family history in this area, and uh, I don't want him to become a statistic. So that was what originated my involvement, uh, mm -hmm. was his family history. Is, and, uh, is your husband from the PD area? No, he's originally from Pennsylvania. Okay. Are you so, a PD area native? No, I'm from the mountains of uh, Virginia, a little place called Fancy Gap, Virginia, up okay. in the Blue Ridge Parkway. Right. So I moved down here, but but I consider myself a PD native now. I right. mean, originally from Virginia, my family's still there, but uh, I live here in Florence, and I've been traveling around the PD area with uh, my previous job at Trans South for 22 years. I've been in the PD area now. You've been in the PD so. area 22 years. What, yes. what brought you here? Was it the position it was at the Trans job. South? Okay. It was the job at Trans South. I moved to Marion, South Carolina, right out of school, and started working at Trans South. And I was with them for 14 years. Uh, worked my way into management and managed five different offices for them in the PD area and I then had an opportunity once I realized my philosophies were changing about where I wanted to be and uh, TransSouth like you know other financial institutions and banks uh, it's a for-profit industry and their philosophies and their goals are directed in one way you know to maximize profits for their stockholders um, I had an opportunity to get into the nonprofit financial mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. industries such as credit union and I took the opportunity and have been there eight and a half years and I love it. The Florence Educators Federal Credit mm -hmm. Union. That's our name. Okay. But we're right. not just for teachers. We serve uh, many groups in the PD area. We do serve Florence School District 1 and 4. We serve Francis Marion University where the Heart Walk is going to right. be. Right, yes. Uh, we serve Florence Darlington Technical College, Marita Bakery, uh, Computer Dimensions, all the private schools in the area I believe are with us. 
and we serve those groups. We serve certain employee groups and their families. And uh, anyone that's listening to the show, if you're eligible to be a member of a credit union, then do it. Yeah. Uh, whether it be our credit union or health facilities, Seaboard, Carolina Trust in your area is real big. Right. I believe they're a community credit union. But it really is a privilege to be able to be a member of a credit union uh, because we are not for profit. Our income that we make, and of course we have to make a bottom line to stay in business as every business does. Right. But the income that we make goes back to our members that own us in the form of lower fees and better rates. Mm-hmm. And that really is what a credit union philosophy is all about. Um, the credit unions have a philosophy of people helping people, mm-hmm. and we practice that every day through the Heart Association, our involvement with, with the Heart Association as well as other charities. Mm-hmm. I was about to ask what makes you smile when you think of the uh, Federal Credit Union, but I, but I guess because you just I, answered, I right? Because I do. I love I get on my soapbox, and I just love the credit union business. I hope to do this till the day I retire and then hopefully be a, a volunteer on the board of directors. Are you easy to find? Are you uh, located? Yeah, we're located right here in Florence, downtown, behind the library on the corner of Coit and Pine Street at 305 West Pine. Do you all have a team that will be walking in the uh, the walk this Yeah, week? we sure do. We're doing our jumping jacks and our <laughs> practicing every day. Not really, but we have a team. Um, my team leader, our credit union, is Jennifer Talavast. Okay. I'm on the steering committee for the Heart Walk, and I'm a community leader, and my job was to recruit at least five recruitment leaders, it's kind of like a little tier uh, that goes up to the chair of the walk. Right. Um, and I recruited recruitment leaders. Those recruitment leaders recruited team leaders. And then each team leader, like Jennifer at our credit union, they'll recruit the walkers. Right. And, um, you know, the teams, we try and get at least 10 people on each team. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'd like to brag on my team because for the last two years, they've been the top uh, dollar producer for a small business. For groups of 25 or less employees, we have uh, been able to attain that, You're kidding. that goal for the well, last two and years. And what was that goal? Do you mind me asking? Well, our goal, we raised uh, close to $3,000 last right. year. But With this year we than, have a goal of $2,500, I believe is that Spectacular. Goal. With less than 25 folks, that's a, big, that's a big deal. I think I saw reading about the Heart Walk that if a, if a company has 30 employees, there'd be a goal to try to get 10 walkers out there. It sounds like you surpass that even. Well, I have a philosophy. If everybody does a little, nobody has to do a lot. Right. You know, right. That's uh, my philosophy in a lot of things that life is teamwork, and there is no I in team, and I'm just fortunate to have a good team all the way around at our credit union that cares about the community as much as I do. Mm-hmm. So, and you've been a, a top fundraiser uh, either directly uh, with the with the credit union, or, or or even as your role, am I correct that you were the past president of the PD Area Heart Association? Yes, I was privileged to be uh, elected past president of the Heart Association. Um, but aside from that, you know, I've been on the board for several years when we had a board here in Florence mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and was past president. But aside from that, they ha- I'm just a regular volunteer. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. just like anybody that's listening right. to the show can oh, be. Yeah, very I'm just definitely. a regular volunteer who just chose to get involved and wanted to do my part to help reduce the incidence of heart disease and stroke. Because every 33 seconds, someone dies of heart disease and stroke. And we, yeah. it might not be realistic to say we want to annihilate heart disease and stroke, but if we can save one life of you know, our loved one or a friend, um, and it's not just an older person's disease. It's not just a male disease. You're right. More females. And I have two um, female friends in their 30s. Um, who had brain strokes, which is heart disease and uh, stroke related. I had two, one recovered and one passed away. Um, so it's not just an old person's disease and it affects all of us at some point in our life. We've got about 15 seconds, but real quick, if you weren't the president CEO of the Florence Educators Federal Credit Union, what do you think you'd be doing, Tanya? It sounds like, you'd be, uh, sounds like you'd be out there volunteering with the Heart Association. I am so lucky to have a job that I am supported by my board of directors to go out into the community and do volunteer work with the Heart Association, the Children's Miracle Network, Meals on Wheels, you know, whatever we have time to get involved in. Um, I'm fortunate to have that opportunity because that's exactly what I'd be doing if I won the lottery tomorrow and didn't have to work for a living. Mm-hmm. I'd be doing volunteer work. Tanya Hahn, 22 years in the PD area, President and CEO of the Florence Educators Federal Credit Union, active supporter of the American Heart Association. You'll see her out on October 26th at Francis Marion University, walking with all the folks at the American Heart Walk. Tanya, thanks so much for being Thank with you. us this morning. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate you including me. Very definitely. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Carolina people. Thank you for joining us on Carolina People. 
If you need more information about the Heart Walk, please call 843-665-0985.